Welcome back to Your Beauty Fuel with Rita Catalino and welcome back Lauren and John. Hello. Hey, thanks so for So excited us. to have you guys back after that first amazing comfort food episode. Um, and today we're going to talk what? Sweets? Well, more comfort foods. Yes, yeah, sweets that are actually pretty healthy. They don't have refined sugars and they are sweet and they are tasty desserts. Okay, because a lot of people um, think baked goods sweets it's synonymous with your treat your cheat days mm -hmm. but we're here to tell you that you can indulge daily if it's done correctly and used with the right kinds of foods a lot of people a lot of people may have actually had vegan desserts that they didn't actually realize were like if you actually pay attention when you go to some of your regular bake bakery spots you might actually notice their gluten-free dessert or their, you know, one of their desserts is actually a vegan option. You, you may not notice, but it's, it's very common in the baking world. Good to know. Yeah, even though people think baking's eggs, butter, flour, it is, but you can, there's so many substitutes now, it's like that baking, that old-fashioned baking world is gone, I it's, think. Yeah. It's old-fashioned. I think you yeah. hit the nose on the yeah. head. It's old-fashioned. It's, it's meant to stay in Grandma's kitchen. Yeah. And we're here to show the new Grandma's kitchen. So what are we going to start <laughs> with today? Well, I think we should make uh, these pretty healthy uh, chocolate chip almond butter cookies, which only have uh, five ingredients, as you can see here, and you're going to help us make them. I love to help. So, me to work. Uh, we need almond butter, which is at the end there, and I have it upside down on purpose because it separates so you just keep it upside down and it'll do its magic in the jar the littlest thing like I yeah. always keep mine up like this and I'm stirring them forever so that I is like a great that. idea yes yeah, so okay. we'll get a cup of that going in the uh, oh muscle oh god, oh god. muscle woman hey, Rita this is my you know my trick <laughs> no now. what's this so it's you put you go like this at home or you use the back of a knife and it creates little air pockets, and all of a sudden you can oh, pretend amazing. like you're Miss Muscles, even though you're not. I do that. Lauren thinks I'm crazy. It's like <laughs> you do it, too. You know, it's not going to work, See? but it does. Okay, how much it's do we need? It's a little separated, so just stir it a bit. Sure. But, um, we need a cup of that. Sure. And we need half a cup of maple syrup, which I can get going. So you, maple syrup's okay for you, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Maple syrup is a great substitute. We can use stevia, you can use coconut sugar. If you can um, find coconut sugar liquid form, that would work too. Okay, I, I have found it coconut sap. Mm -hmm. For you people in London, Ontario, we do sell that at, they do sell that at Jay Danson, so a good place to know. So we're gonna mix these together. Mm -hmm. So almond butter, for people who are asking, is just essentially it's ground down almonds and they keep blending and blending and blending till the natural oils come out and it turns into a butter. So it's there's working. nothing else in there. The oven's on. It was already on. Yeah. All right. At three. Heat. At three fifty. Men in the kitchen. They're it good. Was, it was already on. Before, but wasn't sometimes. It? Did you turn it off? No. Oh. Okay. So we got the almond okay, butter. Okay. Almond butter. Maple syrup. Can I start stirring? Start stirring. Yeah. Let's do. Oops. Uh, vanilla extract. Just need like half a teaspoon. See, I like this too because even this is like old baking. You have to measure so exactly. And this, yes, I have precise. measurements. We have the recipe on your site, but you know, whatever. We know what half a teaspoon is. <laughs> of course we do. Right? With that. Quarter teaspoon of sea, sea salt. salt. So salt, people always ask in baking. It helps with the process, but it also accentuates the sweet flavors, I find. Don't yeah. you? It does. And I'm not a, I don't like super, super sweet, and I find it just kind of mellows it out. It gives it, uh, Oops. What kind of flour are we using okay, today? Okay, so these are gluten-free, so that's brown rice flour. And you're doing a quarter cup plus two tablespoons. That's kind of weird, but... Okay, so that is pretty precise. That's just how I worked it out, because we're going to make little, like, bite-sized mini cookies. So we need two tablespoons? Oh, yeah. Good thinking. So brown rice flour is another great okay. option, which is just... Um, have you tried this with coconut or almond meal? I haven't. Or? Okay. Uh, but I do believe almond meal would work with this. Yeah, good. just from my experience. I think the <laughs> coconut flour would be a little bit too uh, fibrous and absorbent. Yeah, yeah. So see how it's how's coming that together? Looking? That's great. Looking like, this looks like your typical peanut butter cookie kind of um, batter, right? So vegan chocolate chips basically have no milk ingredients in them, but their uh, vegan chocolate chips will have a little bit of cane sugar in them. So today we're going to use carob chips, which is a good option because these are just naturally sweetened with apple juice, I believe, or date juice. And, um, and we, carob is similar to chocolate. It's just another kind of fruit. It's a bean pod, pod. Similar, right? So we're yeah. gonna, how much are we going to put in? Third of a cup. Awesome. Or more if we like more. Yeah, up to you. And that's good to go. To. Where's our baking sheet? It's right behind you. I'm okay. Gonna bust this. Okay. Bust that. So we're gonna put John to work too because. Have you had a Have you had a man in the kitchen? I on the show. <laughs> oh, on the show. Oh yeah. no, you were my first really? man. Yeah, and you're back for a second time, so it means that we were pretty impressed. Mm -hmm. So I like. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like no, nah, it doesn't need more flour, does it? I feel like it does though. 
I think we might have mismeasured. But anyway, you can just put little. I, I like this. I think they might be even more moist, moist sometimes, yeah. the less flour. So I like using my hands. Okay. So I just like do little blobs. I love that. Because these are, I'm going to doing like two bite cookies. Okay. So. Whoop. One bite for me. So while um, you guys are, because I don't want to get my fingers dirty. No, I'll join in. While we're doing no, these, have to. Uh, <laughs> while we're doing these, and we're gonna pop these in the oven, and then we'll show everybody after a break how yummy they are. Yeah. Why don't you tell me about this? Because I know a lot of viewers at home are being distracted by the sexiness yes. of this dessert. Also, because there's no eggs, you can right. You can just oh, eat it yeah. like that if right? you want. Right when you're baking with eggs, you have to worry about the salmonella and everything. Mm -hmm. So egg-free. That's that's mm, interesting. Actually, I quite so that would be like raw cookie dough. Raw cookie dough. Yeah. I encourage you, you to try it. You can make a raw cookie dough nice cream. Oh. With uh, that. Oh, uh, I just, yeah. Okay. Which we're actually going to do next, but we could throw some of that That's in there. That's what I'm saying. Why not? Okay. okay. Tell me about this. Okay, these are um, vegan cheesecakes with a cashew cream base. So what you're looking at uh, for the crust is a chocolate almond crust. It's beautiful. Ground up uh, almonds, cacao powder, raw cacao. Um, which is just chocolate in its purest form, Co shredded coconut, and medjool dates that bring it all together and make it stick together. So then you press it into a tart pan. Then you blend up your cashew cream with a little bit of lemon juice, vanilla, agave nectar, and pour that in and then freeze them. And, and then it. before you serve, just let them sit at room temperature for 10 minutes. Pour your berries on, which are just frozen berries that I thawed overnight in the fridge. And uh, away you go. That looks beautiful. And people don't think that's... Um, vegan. I've fed it to them and they think it's cheesecake. Okay. Can yeah. I try? Yes, get in there. You don't even want to try this. Dirty. We do have a cashew cream recipe up on the um, on the blog that we did on episode three, the chocolate episode. We just added some cocoa powder and we made it almost into like a raw Nutella. Oh, so love we've done that, that before. Um, but this looks heavenly. I mean, it looks too good to be true. I'll let you guys try later. So but here's the thing. Because you could eat that for breakfast, mm. don't you think? Because there's nothing bad in it. You could eat this for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, yeah. and before you go to bed. Yeah. It's that good. The creaminess is there. The sweetness of the dates comes out. That's amazing. And it has the tang. Like, it's not cheese, I get it. But it, it does have a creamy texture and a tang from the lemon juice. Hey, you sold yeah. me. Yeah. That is beautiful. That's on my list. Let's these are ready. You did a good job. Yeah. High five. No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so 350 for about 10 to 14 minutes, depending on your oven. On your oven. And then will they, will they um, go... No, they they're not going to really spread. They're just going to kind of stay formation. Okay. Yeah. So let's get those in the okay. oven. We will um, maybe let you guys try this. Yeah, we'll finish this. And we will Thank go you. for a break before the mm -hmm. um, oh, lick those. <laughs> before these uh, cookies are ready. But this is beautiful. If you can see the texture here is just like a cheesecake. And it's, once again, it's cashew creams. And you let your cashews soaked ahead of time. That's the key to the cream, right? I'm going three hours, but... I, I do it overnight. I just have them sitting in the fridge all the time soaking because you can even, if you switch out the water, you can leave them in the fridge for like two, three days soaking. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. And that lemon, you put lemon juice in there, it's lemon? really brightened it up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this will be on the recipe blog on Hot for Food on yourbeautyfuel.com. We will be right back because we have some eating to do, we do and we'll be back with those cookies. And what else are we talking about? A hot fudge. Healthy hot fudge sundae. Healthy. Oh my God. I, I mean, mm -hmm. ah! I'm so glad we're doing this today. <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. Welcome back to Your Beauty Fuel with Rita Catalino and of course Lauren and John from Hot for Food. And before the break, we just put those yummy vegan chocolate chip almond cookies in the oven mm -hmm. and voila. All ready for you with almond milk there. Yummy. But they're actually just cooling, so. Okay. We can't eat them yet? At the okay. end. Okay. At the what end. What will we do with our time? <laughs> oh, well, we're going to make something even nicer, aren't we? Okay, let's do that. Uh, this is a healthy hot fudge sundae, so totally vegan, totally dairy-free. How can you make a sundae with no dairy? Well, with these little beauties, uh, you already know this, yeah, that I bananas do. Do that are these. frozen blend up so amazingly creamy. 
And we call it, what do you call it? And we call it nice cream. Nice cream, yeah, or banana ice cream. Yeah. So it's just banana ice cream, uh, which I make in a food processor you can do in a high speed blender. And then John's gonna handle the uh, hot fudge sauce, aren't you? Switch thoughts? Yes. Okay, cool. So hot I have to use the machine. Good. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna put the bananas. This is three bananas sliced and already frozen. So you freeze them, you throw them in a bag and leave them in the freezer. I like them have, having like this on hand and I feel this, this is how they get processing this a little bit easier and I find in the blender a little bit easier. Okay. But people do it different ways. This is just my recommendation. I like to take my overly ripe bananas when nobody eats them anymore. They're like the rejects and I just throw them in the freezer. Yeah. With the peel on. With the peel yeah. on. It's, I mean, yes, we would all love to have time and chop everything <laughs> up, but I mean, my life is juggling bananas and so they go right It's in the true. Freezer. You don't have to do this. I just like this. Plus we need it to go a little smoother on television. Absolutely. Don't we, Rita? <laughs> we so do. let's just do it this way. Okay. Um, I'll uh, I'll get started on the hot sauce. Yeah, tell okay. everyone what's in the what, mm, what's in the hot in the, or in the, in hot, the hot sauce, fudge. the hot fudge sauce. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so in okay. the uh, in the hot. It's a little loud. <laughs> Good idea. Did we get it? Oh, perfect. And sea salt. <laughs> Thanks, so, Lauren. This sometimes just takes a bit of working, right? But you're looking for it to... Um, sometimes I add Almost a like a powder. Yeah. yeah, it's almost like a powder. So once you get it to that stage, you can keep blending it. It'll. You want it to get like soft serve. Um, and you can add almond milk to loosen it up as it goes. But you can do that. And we have this beautiful cup that we're going to layer it in later. When we have the hot fudge sauce. How are we doing? Uh, yeah? Yeah. Good. How Thing is, you want to add a little bit at a time because if you add too much, it's going to be too soft, right? So it's a little trick. If we're, all, we're so close. I we're can almost see the, there? I can see the texture at the okay. bottom. Okay. Do you want to try some of this? Let's try some. I'm going to try some opinion. because we got to do something while we're waiting. Oh, it's hot. You can see the seam. Here we go. So this was those ingredients we saw. Ta-da, done. That, that tastes sinly. But it's just, co well, like you already said, coconut milk. Right? Isn't that um, amazing? Okay, that was great. so this oh, is perfect gorgeous. Nana ice cream. Soft serve. Oh my God. Can I start assembling? Yeah, I like it just like this, but yes, just go ice cream sauce, I mean, ice I, cream sauce. Let me see. Mm. That's so we're trying to get it to look like, you know, a stuff. certain a certain hot fudge sundae that you get at a takeout fast food restaurant, but a we certain? won't, we we won't, won't say who it. that is. I'm going to oh, yeah. I'm going to take another spoon. Yeah. Just cuz I think um, two oh. spoons might be easier, okay? I don't know why. Just because I'm like and then that. get Look that in the bottom. We're gonna make a fancy one in a champagne Let's make glass. it. So we could do this. We talked about maybe doing it in a mason jar or something. Mm -hmm. But this looks. You know, you have some guests over. Let's do something extra fancy, oh. right? Yeah. Like this would be the perfect dessert to serve for a dinner party. Yeah, in these lovely. And don't tell clothes. them that it's healthy, vegan, or any yeah. above. Just say it's a well, decadent I'd go even dessert. More in there. Should I go more? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, sorry, I was being, you're being, I was being very, you're, you're like, thinking it's not good for you, right, so you're right. not putting too much. it was bad. This okay, should I keep going? This is a Sunday for one. Oh, oh my God. For Rita. Who gets to eat this? I know, this is like, for you. For me. Okay. You could, oh, you know what, you know what, let's just layer uh, so the peanuts. These are roasted peanuts. Yeah, with We a, normally top them, but uh, let's, 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 let's layer Let's just do it. a layer. Let's yeah. layer it. Let's be daring. Because you get halfway done it, and you're like, man, remember when I had peanuts on top? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so have the peanuts all the way through. Is that good, guys? Am yeah. I doing good? Yeah. Love it. Okay, this is the smell of this fudge. My so daughter would love this. To be honest with you, here's another thing you could technically eat for breakfast because it's just bananas, raw pure chocolate, coconut milk. I love your and peanuts. If I can eat dessert for breakfast, I'm. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm I mean, happy you're, too. you're an adult. You can do whatever you exactly. want. Exactly. <laughs> you can eat dessert before your main course, Lauren. <laughs> totally. And especially when you're eating vegan desserts. Oh my God. Oh, Should I keep going? No, that, nice? that looks great. And then put some more chocolate, put some on chocolate on top and, and then a peanuts. peanuts on top. Then enjoy. Oh, snap. I think I only have one spoon left in my kitchen, though. <laughs> yeah, we've used them all. <laughs> Which means I'm the only one who can eat this. Okay, well, this is I'm amazing. I'm just kidding. And I love this in the champagne some glass. Some peanuts. Good choice. That, I mean... Excuse me, you can't get that at a drive-thru. Look at this. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. This is, once again, we have to say it's dairy free, it's refined sugar free, it's vegan, so there's no eggs, there's no Don't dairy. I mean, it's essentially yeah. fruit. And so creamy, like banana ice cream really is like. It's pure, like you guys saw her blend that up, it's just pure frozen bananas. Mm -hmm. And the creaminess and the texture is very similar to an ice cream. So there you have it. There you have you it. can do this in a mason jar for kids. I think that would be fun for a birthday party. Totally. Um, or something like this. All of a sudden, it's a refined dessert for your for your guests. And if you want, you could do strawberry jam in the middle, whatever. Like, yeah, you, you make know. this fun, right? Mm. Make this. You know what we were thinking, too, when we were making our yummy chocolate chip cookies, which we were trying oh, now. Oh, 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 you want Okay, so if you want. No, no, I'm saying. All if you want. Could. Look, break up the cookie. I love oh, how we goodness. just put it all right like wow. Well, let's get another dish here. So put the cookie. We could make Look, a cookie sundae. Put the cookie. This I is amazing. This. Then put the ice cream. Then put the chocolate sauce. Jeez. I'm just saying. You, you can do it. it. <laughs> I could just picture Lauren at home in her pajamas, is breaking everything down in front of Breakfast. the TV. But um, <laughs> we were talking about the cookie dough um, from this and how there is no eggs, so you could definitely eat it raw. So that's something that you can make all of a sudden into a cookie dough a sundae. Cookie dough sundae. Right? I need to try, I mean, those peanuts you saw these amazing, we got the raw cheesecake today, we got the amazing chocolate chip cookies, and now we have this hot fudge sundae. You guys were good enough to make me <laughs> almost vegan with the comfort food episode. You could do and vegan desserts though, I hey? think you have definitely made me turn, I would probably never eat another meat dessert for the rest <laughs> of my life. Okay. I'm definitely good. going to the vegan side for dessert anyway, and grab a spoon, yeah. dig in. It's really I good mean, with the cookie. We just I made something new here. Should I try the cookie? Should I try this? this? Let me yeah. try this. This looks amazing. And I'll try it with my cookie I'm because. Mm. Why not? Oh my God. I mean, we need to go, because we need to finish this, and you need to go check out the blog and make these at home for yourself. Yes. Now. Now. Welcome back to Your Beauty Food with Rita Catalino and Lauren and John from Hot for Food. We just finished this amazing uh, indulgent dessert vegan guide mm -hmm. and let's just recap what we made. Yeah, we made uh, chocolate chip almond butter cookies. These are actually carob chip, same thing, uh, just five ingredients. Yeah. Five ingredients up on the blog, easy and they were so yummy. Uh, we made earlier a raw cheesecake, we brought that for you already made, made with cashews, dates, almonds, fresh berries melted from the freezer. Raw cacao as well. Raw cacao, yeah. yeah, chocolate almond crust, yeah. So good. And then I would say probably my favorite. <laughs> yeah, a healthy hot fudge sundae, which is banana ice cream, that's all it is, with um, a hot fudge sauce made of four ingredients, coconut milk, raw cacao, coconut sugar, arrowroot flour to thicken it. And yeah. some roasted peanuts. Roasted peanuts on top, yeah. Amazing. And while we were digging in on the commercial break, <laughs> yeah. we, we just thought, let's put the cookies and the ice cream together and let's make this amazing An ice cream ice sandwich. Cream sandwich. <gasps> and I've just decided oh. to dr drizzle just, this on there. Yeah. I mean, let's just go to town. We have Look the ingredients, that. right? And then let's put some more peanuts there. You on go. There. And I mean, this can be for the kids or birthday parties, for your, it's, it's all in the presentation. If you present it in a fun yellow plate for the kids, or if you present it in a champagne flute, gra for the flute glass for the adults, um, but it's all the same healthy food. And uh, John was telling me, you know, do this in baby steps. Don't go all of a sudden, throw out your eggs and, you know, most mm -hmm. people who start on a lifestyle, they think, oh, I saw that on TV, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna do a rehaul in one day. Yeah. That's not over, a great that's way. That's like overwhelming and you'll, it'll, un, it'll be unmotivating because you right. think it's so daunting and so much work when it really isn't. Being vegan isn't a lot of work. It's just changing your habits. And you know, the more we talk, the more I've realized that the majority of the desserts I eat and yeah. the indulgences because I look for un unprocessed food is based on dates and nuts. Mm -hmm. And so really, they're oh, vegan, vegan desserts things, yeah. without yeah. actually labeling it vegan. Yes. Mm -hmm. So just don't say the word if that's some people's problem. Just right. don't say. 
Just be like, here's a lovely dessert. You could eat it for breakfast, which is my main point with these. <laughs> breakfast. It's all about yeah. eating sweets for breakfast. Yeah. Like That's how you should decide whether or not something is good for you. If can you can I, eat it for can breakfast. Can I eat this for breakfast? I love yeah. it. Okay, well, thank you so much for coming Thanks back. For us. If people want to know more, where can they go? Yes, all these recipes are on hotforfoodblog.com, and every week we release a recipe video with new and exciting ideas at youtube.com slash hotforfoodblog. So all of our recipes are free. We don't have a book. We're just running a blog right now, so please check us out and follow Follow along and subscribe. Free, yeah. good, yummy, healthy, vegan. What else? Chocolate. What else? Chocolate. What else do you want? Sweets for <laughs> breakfast. I mean, thank you once again. Thanks, Rita. Thank you all for tuning in to yourbeautyfuel.com, and we are gonna finish this mm -hmm. off. And uh, see you next time on the show. Mm -hmm.